Hello everybody, Ms. Sackett here to talk about our third right brain technique. So we have learned pure contour and modified, which focuses on the 3D contours and bends and turns of the shapes. Now we're focusing more on the form, how objects bend and turn and are curving inside the shapes as well because what we are doing now is we are getting ready to do 3d shading which creates an illusion of a form with highlights and shadows and bends and turns kind of like a black and white photograph <clears throat> on a 2d flat surface like a piece of paper and continuous line is the beginning to get us ready for that now i know you're gonna be happy about this this technique you look at the paper while drawing, but you want to make sure that you are still visualizing and in the right side of the brain and not switching to thinking. This technique is still slow and it still takes concentration. And what it does now is we're going to create the bends and turns on an object. Uh, where the lights and darks would hit. Where is it curving? Where is it turning? And generally speaking, the parts on an object that are closest to the light source and stick out the highest will be the lightest area. Anything that curves, bends, is under something, creates a crevice or a hole, has shadow. And what we want to capture is those bends and turns, okay? Now, Continuous line is a drawing that is done with one line that continues without crossing over or backtracking. That means you don't go back over an outline. You want it to create the shapes and bends and turns of an object. <clears throat> so you still need to be visualizing, and now you're looking at the shapes of where they are. Excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> where they are bending and turning and creating the illusion of all the internal uh, shapes. And this is part of a stuffed animal, and you can see where it is. Let me bend this down a little bit. Uh, where it is curving. Where it's curving on his arm, on his shapes. And you notice it's one line. And I think with this one, let's see, where did I start? I started, I started right here, went this way, got this side of the mouth, went over, got that side of the mouth, came around, caught his little eyeball shape, caught his eyeball shape on the other side, curved on the face, went back up here to the top of the head. So you kind of have to plan where you're driving with your pencil so that it does not cross over, oops, cross over. See how those are crossing over? That's not what we want to do. This one's backtracking. When you drive, and then you go back the same way again. And it's not creating shapes. That is a sketch, and a bad sketch at that. Uh, we're not making lollipops or hearts and stars where we just do a spiral design. That's not the 3D shape. And this one, although the outside of this mannequin head looks pretty good, but it just has, it's got squiggles inside that make no sense whatsoever. So what you're looking at now, let me show you some more continuous lines. I will be doing a demonstration after this. And of course my stuff is, I gotta, put masking tape on it so it doesn't blow away. All right, this one happens to be a rubber ducky. And what you can see is it's, it's got the, the angle of his beak, the curve of his head, where it be, would be bending and flowing to curves here. This is actually the end of it, which is capturing his little wing shape. And you kind of have to pay attention to where you're driving because this one's now giving it curves and bends inside. With pure and modified contour, we are focusing on the outside contour um, edges. 
and this one is of a hand. So you, what you want to do now is when we're visualizing, we are looking at the shapes and forms that object makes. Let me see if I can find the beginning on here. Found the end. I found the end, but I did not find the beginning. Aha, there it is. All right, so this one begins right here on the thumbnail. It comes down, and it captures some of that bends on the nail and the up and down shape of the nail. And it comes down and captures the bend, which you can't see. The uh, bend of the thumb comes up here, gets the bend of the thumb, comes around, gets the curve edge, and then it's getting those bends right in here. And kind of what you do is you follow shapes and go inside shapes, but you want to make sure you leave a hole so that you can get back out, otherwise you get stuck. And then this is capturing the bend of the thumb down here, the little crease there, and it's following the shape so I can get back up here to start this upper finger. There's the curve, the bends where it would be curving, capture a little bit of the nail shape, the bend of the knuckle, curves down. And what it's now doing is it's curving with the shapes, but it's only one line. <clears throat> and that line continues. And so that means you got to plan kind of where you're leaving openings to get outside of objects. So it's still right brain. It still takes a lot of concentration. And you need to be looking at the three-dimensional object that you are drawing to get used to it. And I'm going to tell you now, Miss Sackett's very visual. I'm very familiar with bends and turns and forms and how objects are created. Uh, yours are not going to look like mine at first, unless you are one of my advanced students. Here's another one of a hand. It is a very stylized line drawing, but now what we're doing is we're trying to capture the form, the stuff that's inside, where it's bending and turning and creating the um, shapes of where highlights and shadows will be, with are the lights and darks on an object when we get to 3D shading. We'll talk more about that. Um, where the object is bending and curving and we're creating it with that line and you have to be careful where you're driving with your pencil. This is not a fast technique. You gotta remember, Ms. Sackett is running the art marathon. You're still in training and you're, this is just learning your shape because now we're gonna be moving into forms and creating that illusion on paper instead of just the outside edges like we do for pure and modified contour. Now we're going inside to where the object's actually um, curving to make it look like it's curving and turning. And this is a one of my stuffies. You can see it. Here's his snout, how it's bending and curving. And then his shape bends like this, and it's the lines are going with it. So it is still an extremely right brain activity. You need to make sure you are visualizing. And you pick a spot. And just like modified contour, you don't want to go all the way down an edge of something. You want to keep stuff that's near each other. So when I'm doing something like this, I'm not going to jump from here all the way to up here. I'm probably going to get what's near here. Except for I have to kind of plan what direction my pencil is going. So you have to drive carefully. You don't want to have a traffic wreck and have lines cross over. You're not backtracking. <clears throat> So you want to go slow. Itsy bitsy tiny drawings not going to work real well for you. I always find a nice sharp pencil helps with helps with cure with woo continuous line so that it keeps the line smaller so that I can get into more details. Now mine are very detailed. Doesn't mean that yours necessarily are. You're going to be learning to find form. Um, I'm going to be doing the demonstration next. What you want to do is pay attention to how I am moving with my pencil. Uh, mine are very stylized toward my drawing. There are different ways that it will look. Um, you wanna make sure that you're being careful and you're watching where you're going. Look at your object. Looking at your paper, look at your object. So you're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth. Instead of just staring at the object while drawing, now you look at the paper. Because if you don't look at the paper with continuous line, you're gonna end up crossing over lit, uh, crossing over lines and having a mess because it's a different technique. Now we're looking at the paper. So it's object, draw, draw, draw. Object, draw, draw, draw. What you want to do is make sure you stay on the right side of the brain. Make sure you're looking at where objects are curving 
and bending like this is a cylinder. Can you see how that highlight's kind of hitting in the center? So it looks like it's turning, curving, bending. And you want your lines to kind of flow with the shape and bends and curves of the object because um, now we're capturing, creating that illusion of form, which isn't really possible on 2D paper. It's an illusion because then we're going to be moving into 3D shading, which actually captures the lights and darks, the bends and turns with the change in value color so that we get lots of light grays, medium grays, and dark grays with a drawing pencil. And this technique is what's preparing us for that. And there, here's one that I did for five minutes. You can see that it actually looks like a hand, but it's very a stylized dry, line drawing because it's going back and getting into those details, which I will show you next in demonstration. And of course, next you will be practicing. Let me find a, let me find a 3D shading for you. Because then next on Friday, our next thing that we will be learning is 3D shading, creating the lights and darks, the bends and curves, which we will talk about later. But that's what this technique brings us to. Because our next project, we will be using 3D shading and detailing and sketching, which you look at the paper, but you want to make sure you're maintaining the right side of the brain. So this is our third right brain technique, and I know I have people that love this one a lot. Um, I really enjoy it. But remember again, guys, it's slow. Some of you guys are, you know, speed, speed, speed. These techniques are slow. And in five minutes, I'm only seeing a snippet, so it's not a race. It's not like you're sitting down and drawing for an hour. We're doing little short things to get your brain trained to switch to the right side so that when you're doing project work, you stay visual and you don't start thinking. Because remember, when you start thinking, what happens to your drawing? Think, stink, right? In art, we want to be visual. We want to see what's in front of us. And this is in training. And now we're focusing on the form, the bends and turns, which is cool. All right. All right. Next up, demonstration on continuous line for you guys.